Early 1900s, the, uh, they had a big fire in the army, and half of the town burned out. And uh, the way that people got up together and uh, helped themselves and uh, rebuilt that. And if we do go down Brook Street, we got all those uh, little houses they used to call the, uh, the matches houses. Most of them were uh, people that were working at Eddie's and other places like that. And, it, this, this is where the uh, the name of that, and there's still a lot of them. They're all uh, they put a renovation to them, and they they're beautiful. Yeah. My name is Damien Curley, I'm the principal of the Western Quebec Career Centre. My name is Claude Nobert, I'm the owner of Les Productions Claude Nobert and Aimer Recording Studio. My name is Lily Ryan and I'm the co-publisher of the Aimer Bulletin and we also do two other weekly newspapers, the West Quebec Post and um, the Pontiac Journal. Hi, my name is Leon Richler, I'm the guidance counsellor here at the Western Quebec Career Centre. Uh, I'm in charge of personal and career counselling, loans and bursaries and support for Emploi Quebec students. Bonjour, euh, mon nom c'est Irma Cabello, je suis la directrice par intérim du Centre Le Matériel. Et puis, je vous souhaite la bienvenue parmi nous, merci d'être là. Alors, moi je suis la Céline, je suis intervenante ici au Centre. Je travaille beaucoup euh, dans un programme qu'on appelle Intervention à la délinquance. C'est pour aider vraiment tout ce qui est vraiment les personnes qui viennent ici, les clients, à trouver vraiment un emploi. Bonjour, mon nom est Claude Delogy, je suis euh, grandier, puis euh, je fais du bénévolat ici depuis quatre ans. A good employee, uh, that's a tough question, um, because there's many different qualities that uh, a good employee requires. Uh, for me, uh, honesty would definitely be one of the, the things I would have to look at. Um, you have to be able to trust the people that you work with. Having the knowledge about themselves. So knowing um, more about yourself and what you're able to do, your strengths, your qualities, um, that is also really important. La discipline. Quand on a ici, on reçoit des bénévoles, aussi des personnes, des stagiaires. Si c'est des personnes disciplinées, ça va être aussi des très bons résultats. The ability to communicate with others. Not to be afraid to ask for help. I'll ask for questions, ask questions for support. Learn to be adaptive, able to move quickly with what's needed. We need good problem solvers these days. Uh, there's so many challenges in, in the workforce. Is to be a fast learner. So you might not know how to do certain things, you might not have knowledge in the area, but if you're able to learn and pick up things quickly, um, that's something that I'd be looking for as a, you know, in, in someone that I hire. Ready to go out and do their job, even if the description doesn't entail everything that's involved, you have to be able to look at it. Your actual first impression is your resume. The employer is going to look at your CV and make an impression based on what is read. So if you have typos or if it's not really organized or clean, you know, that will make a first impression. So say you go in, in person and meet an employer, you make a, a different type of impression because you're showing your personality and your behavior. Just be who you are, be yourself, um, be professional come in professional, come in dress professionally, um, take the time to really listen to the employer but also provide them with the information so that they know who you are um, and, and really show how you're passionate and how you're excited about the type of job that you're applying for. Obviously a first impression tells me what effort somebody has put into attending the interview or meeting, attending the meeting. 
Um, but sometimes it doesn't always tell the whole story. As they say, you can't judge a book by the cover, right? So I think reputation and references and a portfolio is something that we look at a lot when it comes to employees. You know, when I meet somebody initially, I ask to see their, their body of work, what have you done? And uh, it's not very interesting to hear how the people talk about that because employers are looking for that. They want to hear, um, you know, I'm here because this is something that really interests me. Show them that you've done your research on the company. Um, that's critical in a first impression. Positive, confident, look the person in the eye, look around, ask questions, be open. 90% um, of jobs are found through networking, so tell your friends what you're looking for. I really have a good idea of what you are looking for. Don't just go to your friends and say, I'm looking for a job, do you know of anyone hiring? Be specific. It's about attitude and being bright-eyed and ready to, you know, ready to open the door for the person, ready to carry the thing for the person, you know, for the person involved. So they understand that this work relationship is going to make life easier for the employer, not harder. Think outside the box, be try to be do things differently and have a fresh approach on uh, on uh, what you do. I love creativity. Uh, people need to be able to, as I said, problem solve, but also start thinking outside the box, start thinking about other uh, alternative ways of doing things. If we keep doing the same things over and over and over again, guess what? Nothing changes, we don't improve. So it's the creative thinkers, it's the people who have the courage to take a chance uh, and are willing to work hard, that, that's what sets us apart. Basically, just try to do things. When you wake up that morning, say, okay, how can I do things differently? You know, like I've never done before. Even if it's scary, even if it's even if you even if you make a mistake, you know, you're allowed to make a mistake at 40, 50, or 60 years old. You're allowed, you're still allowed to make mistakes. So why don't I try something different? And maybe I'll like it. Maybe 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 not, but maybe you'll like it. So it's a I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm Are ready. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.